everyone uh, in this video we will see how we can uh, trigger a DMS task from step function uh, here I'm going to use a start application task uh, this, this task I'm going to run the DMS task to do the migration now I'm in DMS portal uh, I have only one uh, database migration task DMS test let's see how we can trigger this job through the trigger this task through step function I'm going to uh, go into step function step function so I'm going to create a new state machine create state machine and design your workflow initially I'm going to use standard one click on next so here you can use uh, uh, you can create replication start uh, describe all those things you can use start application task so this is the one I'm going to use Ta sorry start application task so this is the one Here, if you see the input parameter here, you have to use you need to provide the application error as well as the unit uh, task type. So, if you want to go about this one, uh, click on this uh, information box, click on this one, you will find the place like you will want to know what are the things you need to give here. Click on this one. So, here you have to give the parameters like uh, the error as well as the application task uh, start task type. The valid value start application using the reload target. This is what the valid value. If you see in this one, you could see the start application the task type, right? So the task main task type should be of any of these three types: start application, or resume uh, processing, or reload target. In my case, I'm going to do reload target. So I'm going to use this one, reload target. Replicant task error. So the replicant task error is go to the DMS task and you will find the error here. Error. Copy this. Or you can go inside and you can find the error. You can go to this side. You can find the task error. Anything is fine. And go to and I'm click on one and save, save this one next this machine I'm going to run start application task I'm going to give state machine name start application task create a new role I'm going to keep everything as it is So it seems like it's, it's, we need to provide the permission for this one. Go to click edit all and go to this one. So the, this is the first application task role I have created. All the uh, will make all the policies available for, available for this role. I'm going to create inline policies. Here you need to choose uh, DMS. This. You want to give, uh, click on all, uh, click on all DMS action resources and click, click on everything. This is give a name here. So the policy, all the policies we attached to this uh, particular uh, role. Now click on this one and this page will see. Just click on this executor uh, uh, state machine. Start execution. Start execution. We have succeeded. Showing us a full load here. Let, let's go into let's go into data migration task. Migration task. Right now it is showing us starting here. Showing us starting. This is it running? It will change to complete in few seconds.
in this way you can uh, start the replication task from uh, step function replication stage showing is complete yeah in this way you can start uh, the replication task from step function yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching